good evening. It's uh, 9 p.m. time for the English news. The major story of this Wednesday, January 30, 2016, are a new solar power plant at uh, Grand Barra. Istanbul society member was an ISIL member. Thank you to joining us. Uh, the head of state, His Excellency Ismail Omar Gele, has addressed today a message of condolence to his Turkish counterpart, Mr. Rashid Tayyip Erdogan, after the terrorist attack perpetrated yesterday in Istanbul, which has caused the death of dozen persons. In this message, the head of state has condemned this uh, horrible and criminal act and relieved the compassion and solidarity of the Jewish government and its people to the people of uh, Turkey, a brother uh, and a friend country in this difficult terrorist attack. The head of state underlined if Turkey is paying the heaviest price for its legitimate commitment against terrorism. I agree that this uh, will not divert our country of the valuable assistance that it brings it in the fight of the one major problem of the contemporary world, reiterating its deepest and saddened condolence to Mr. Tayyip Erdogan. It was on the top stories that Djibouti will tomorrow launch the construction of a solar central at uh, Gombara. Uh, the Department of Energy will organize a Tuesday 14 January the ceremony of laying the first uh, stone for the construction of this, this uh, solar central. A ceremony placed under the high patronage of the head of state, Mr. Ismail Omar Gili, at uh, Dubad Ballet in the region of Ali Sabi. A German company, Green NC, will be a charge of the construction of this uh, solar power plant which will be in a six phase of uh, 15 megawatt on an area of uh, 600 hectare for a total capacity of uh, 300 megawatt the end of this uh, first phase we of this work is expected before the end of the year 2060 this uh, seat will uh, generate 150 to uh, 200 jobs directly and indirectly during the work and uh, after the construction uh, 60 uh, jobs uh, in full time will be available. The construction of the solar plant of uh, the Agrombara will strengthen the, the total transition Djibouti to the clean energy before 2021. Already, the Republic of Djibouti consumes 6,500 uh, of uh, the uh, clean energy thanks to the electrical connection with the uh, Topia. With this solar central, the Republic of Djibouti will be the first African country to go to the uh, clean energy. The investment amount uh, of uh, this uh, project it, uh, will be on 306 million euro. We have uh, the Prime Minister, Mr. Abdul Qadir uh, Kamil Mohammed, uh, has received at the premature the new French uh, diplomat accredited to Djibouti. The interview was conducted within the presence of the director of the office cabinet, Mr. Yusuf Awled, and Mr. Hassan Mohammed Kamil, advisor of the Prime Minister. The French ambassador, Mr. Christophe Guillou, addressed a sincere gratitude to the Djiboutian authorities and thanked the Prime Minister for his hospitality. He indicated that he was fortunate to be in Djibouti. The French diplomat that he was fortunate to be in Djibouti stressed the bilateral cooperation and the unique uh, Friendship that has maintained the two countries for a long time and has risen the military cooperation and security aspect, which are at the beautiful fixes between the two countries. He also expressed the wish to, to see the bilateral Djibouti French relations to consolidate in many areas, such as the economic development, cultural, and commercial. The two men discussed uh, together about geostrategic issues and situation of the neighboring country, victims of a new kind of conflict perpetrated by jihadists. The Prime Minister congratulated the French diplomat for his uh, new functions in Djibouti and recalled the public relations and multifaceted cooperation between the two countries. He then highlighted the cultural and historical links uniting Djibouti and uh, France. He wished the crossing of additional bearing in the integration of the economy of the two countries. 
In conclusion, uh, the Prime Minister wished the success to the new diplomat in its new functions and has assured the ambassador of the support of the government of uh, Djibouti. The National Assembly President, Mr. Mohamed Ali Hamad, has received this morning the French ambassador newly accredited the Republic of Djibouti, Mr. Christophe Guillou, the Parliament Vice President, Mr. Mohamed Saeed Barkhad, the French Djibouti Friendship Group Chairman, Mr. Dileta Mohamed Dileta, the First Embassy of France Councillor, Ms. Anne Sward, as well as the Advisor of Cooperation and the Cultural Action and Director of the French Institute, Mr. Dominique Richard, and finally the President Cabinet Director. Director Mr. Mahdi Wabiri attended this uh, maintenance. The meeting with the French diplomat has underlined the bilateral relation of the two countries. The two officials have underlined the need to promote the parliamentary cooperation through the exchange of visits and experience. The exchange were also focused on the relation between the two countries in different files. In a short interview after this hearing, the ambassador Guy Yu states, We have had a very good and interesting conversation, a frank and a cordial with the president of the parliament. He has a lot of experience that we share. I have learned a lot of. And uh, he has uh, taken the time to describe the situation in the country and the way in which French could be Call a better support the Republic of Djibouti. Under the leadership of Mr. Mohamed Ali Hamed, the Conference of Presidents was held this Monday, 13 January 2016, in the room of the Commissioners of the National Assembly. The government was represented by the Prime Minister Abdul Qadir Kamil Mohamed and the Minister for the Advancement of Women and the Family Planning, responsible for relations with the Parliament, Ms. Hasna Barkat Daoud, also took part in this meeting. The two Vice Presidents, the Chairman of the Parliament Commission, and the President of the Parliamentary Group, and the General Reporter. The agenda of this meeting was uh, on the submission of bills uh, to submit to the committee concerning namely Bill 135-2016 on ratification on the loan agreement for the program of resi resilience to draw and development of sustainable livelihood in the countries of the Horn of Africa has been submitted to the consideration of the Commission of Foreign Affairs. Bill 126-2016 uh, on ratification on the loan agreement for the project to support the achievement of the socio-economic infrastructure and the promotion of economic activities in the region has been submitted to the consideration of the Commission of Foreign Affairs. 3 Bill uh, 100, uh, 2016 on the approval of the financial account of the National Social Security Fund for the year 2013 has been submitted to the consideration of the Commissioners of Finance, finance uh, the General Economy and Plan. Bill 124, 2016 on the approval of the financial account of the National Office of Water and Sanitation of Djibouti for the fiscal year 2013 was submitted to the consideration of the Commissioners of Finance, the General Economy and the Plan. Bill 125, 2016 on the adoption of the financial account to the of the Imperial National of Djibouti for the fiscal year 2013-2014 has been submitted to the consideration of the Commissioners of Finance, the General Economy of the Plan, and finally uh, on the proposal of law. Ms. Safiya Elmi Jibril, Elmi Musa Hassan, Mohammed Ali Fuli, and Abdullah Barkata Ibrahim, the Commissioner of the, of the Legislation and the General Administration, will examine the proposal of law number 127-2016 on the status of the legal political opposition. The climate warming as in the other countries of the world and its consequences are being, is being felt in Djibouti in a workshop on the national plan for adaptation to climate change in Djibouti has been held this morning. The workshop was opened by the speech of the UNDP representative Ms. Valerie Cliff and the Minister of the Housing, Environment and uh, the Development of the Territory, uh, the University of Djibouti Public Institution representative, uh, the Meteorological Center representative, the SIR, the Research Center, have taken part of this workshop. The primary objective of this workshop is to popularize uh, the national project of the INP activities. Uh, finally, the debates were 
open between the repentant of different uh, parties. During this workshop, the seminarian have uh, made a remainder of national project on the adaptation of, to the climate change, which has uh, already been achieved. For his part, uh, the Minister of Housing in Charge of Environment, uh, Mr. Mohamed Musa Ibrahim Balala, has indicated the present workshop that you go to formulate is to the taking into the account of a long-term vision in the areas of adaptation to climate changes, the policy of the country as well as in the development in respect to the Republic of Djibouti. There is eight months that my department has in mind the activities of reinforcement of capacity and awareness on the process that was. This workshop is proposed to be the extension of these uh, activities. It is an opportunity also to concert with the participants of the institutions having taken at the previous sessions. Still on the national news, the general in division Zakaria Sheikh Ibrahim has carried out the, the distribution of certificate of the first degree in artillery to 120 trainees. Uh, these uh, training lasted three months and specialized uh, in uh, the uh, 120 trainers in the handling of the Mutar. After the review of the troops, the general of division Zakaria Sheikh Ibrahim, head of state of the major general of armies, and has welcomed the audiences and the chief of brigade Osman Nur Subagli, the defense head of state, the general Tahir Muhammad Ali, defenses and the chief of staff of the general of division Hassan Ali Kamil. Trainers then uh, briefly show their uh, known how acquired during their uh, training of three months as to know the implementation battery and the motor 120 millimeter management. General Zakaria Sheikh Ibrahim has uh, granted the award remission to the first winner, the artillery uh, regiment head, Lieutenant Colonel Mohamed Helsi, in his speech uh, pronounced on this occasion to thank the General Zakaria Sheikh Ibrahim for his unwearing support to this uh, body's army. He has, in addition, emphasized that this uh, training has come to an end uh, despite the, dis the disruption uh, by the fall within the Hill Battalion of uh, Baladwin. On the sidelines of this ceremony, the General Zakaria Sheikh Ibrahim has granted the inauguration of an hangar provided for heavy weapons vehicle tractors. He congratulated the regiment artillery team who carried out this very useful within only a month. Finally, this ceremony has come to an end with song and traditional dances. After 28 years of loyal and noble service in the maritime file, Colonel Wais Omar Bokhari, commander of the Coast Guard in Djibouti, and the Commissioner Colonel, Colonel Muhammad Elmi Musa, Chief of Staff Particular of the Presidency Order of Excellence work in the International Corporation are seen decorated on Tuesday 12 to January 2016, the Service Medal of the European Security and Defenses Policy of the European Union by the Force Commander at Thailand, the Vice Admiral Stefano Barbari in the presence of the Ambassador of the European Union to the Republic of Djibouti, Mr. Joseph Silva. 
the first the force commander atlanta the vice admiral stefano and the ambassador of the european union mr joseph silva has paid uh, have paid tribute during their brief intervention to the ceremony of decoration which ha which was uh, held on board uh, the vessel uh, italian military uh, the sti to a ralph mine remarkable support of the republic of djibouti in the area of the fights against maritime piracy to the dimension of european forces in indicating that he, that the decoration award of this uh, official today highlights the exceptional work and the unwearing support that these officials have testified was the respect of the european forces since uh, the beginning of the operation this ceremony was also seen uh, the decoration of the captain ali elmi bu chief of uh, the operation of the national navy an important uh, consensus workshop uh, on the implementation of the vocational baccalaureate was held this morning at the Industrial and Commercial High School. This workshop, uh, which began this week at the ICA, has grouped together the inspectors of the general and technical education and animated by a pedagogical expert of the French national education, Mr. Uh, Croisier, focused uh, on the regulation of the procedure of the examination of the for ba bachelor degrees professional, the ways and means of achieving a document for the training of teachers in professional environment and the accompaniment of division inspectors of general education as regards the writing of program. On the other hand, uh, she enrolled in the framework of the reform of the secondary vocational and the technical and thus uh, constitute an important step of consultation and dialogue on the way to harmonize the progression of di different uh, disciplines and in particular in order to establish uh, the appropriate uh, contents of general. General discipline according to the expected skills and output profiles of a student in vocational education. Finally, all the measures taken in the course of this meeting and uh, are intended to put in place an effective training system issuing of diploma in terms of skills to meet the needs of uh, enterprises. The ADDS Micro Islamic Finance Pilot Unit has organized this morning to the Arrahma Complex a ceremony to raise awareness on the micro Islamic finance for the Warabale inhabitants. This ceremony took place in the, uh, in the presence of the President of the Commune of Balbala, Yusuf Hassan Nuhu, Micro Islamic Finance Chief Service Mohammed Amin, Social Project Leader Abdullah Mut and the social program coordinator uh, Sulekha Muhammad. The action as were conducted by the IDDS is in the framework uh, of the micro Islamic finance pilot unit is for the uh, sustain sustainability. It has a full objective to support with the activities of generating income for the benefit of poor population and to foster the development of sectoral of activities such as the mine, trade, the craft, service and uh, other. Promoted in 2008 by the President of the Republic, His Excellency Mr. Ismail Omar in the framework of the National Initiative for the Social Development Microfinance, is an effective tool for the poverty reduction. It is uh, beneficial in particular in terms of funding to the, of the population typically included from the formal banking sector to enable them to develop economic activities uh, contributing to the creation of wealth and employment and uh, growth. And now concerning uh, the regional and international uh, scene, Kenya has uh, unveiled unprecedented tourism incentive package which includes visa and charters flight waivers in a bid uh, to attract world travelers back to the country. President uh, Uhuru Kenyatta, while opening Kenya's first uh, luxurious uh, yachtin navy, waived the visa fees for children under 16 and vet charges on national parks fees, said Mohammed with more detail. The tourism industry received a major boost as President Uhuru Kenyatta opened a marina in Mombasa, the only one of its kind between Cape Town in South Africa and Cairo in Egypt. The president announced a raft 
of initiative that will revitalize the industry, such as 1.2 billion shillings incentive for charters flights to stimulate tourism arrival at their coast. This will encourage those already flying in to increase the frequency of their flight, said President Kenyatta. The head of state spoke on when he opened the English Point Marina, a multi-billion shilling landmark resort in Mombasa County. President Kenyatta said the resort is a major endorsement of the recovery strategy of the country's tourism and hospitality industry, adding that it heralds good tiding in their sector. He also said the waiver of the landing fee fees at Mombasa and Maldini Airport for Charters Plane will be extended to June 13, 2018 to help the industry regain its full strength. The improvement in security are there for all to see. We dare not allow that momentum to be lost, he said. President also thanked the United States, the United Kingdom, the French government for their recent lifting of travels advisories. They recognize as well as we do that security here has vastly improved and that there is much to be gained by partnering with Kenya and the regions. And now in Cameroon, a suicide bomber killed at least 10 people and left at least one under one other injured in attack on a mosque in northern Cameroon in the far uh, north region. This is the lastest attack linking to the uh, insurgency by Islamic militant uh, group uh, uh, Boko Haram. Uh, many of the recent attacks in Cameroon have been carried out by women. The suicide attack took place at uh, 5 a.m. in a mosque at uh, Kuyapi. There were uh, 30 uh, dead, including the man who blew himself up and uh, one uh, wounded, said a senior local official who declined to be identified. Another senior local official is reported uh, to have said that at least 10 people died. Uh, Boko Haram was waged a six-year campaign for an Islamist state in northern eastern Nigeria. Neighboring countries join an offensive against the militant this year, uh, prompting the conflict to split across their border, displacing tens of thousands of people. We have uh, uh, in Turkey, after the bomb attack that happened in Turkey yesterday, after throws investigations, the Turkish government said that the bombers was uh, a member of the Islamic State. Let's see the following video with more detail. A member of the Islamic State is believed to be behind yesterday's suicide bombing in the heart of Istanbul, which killed nine German tourists and brought terror to the street of Turkey's historic city. The blast tore through a crowd of visitors gathered near the Blue Mosque in the Sultanahmet district, a popular tourist area that is home to many Istanbul and Ottoman Byzantine sites. Turkey's officials said the attack was carried out by a 28 years old Syrian member of ISIL. We have determined that the perpetrator of the attack is a foreigner who is a member of Daesh, said Turkey Prime Minister. The bomb is believed to have entered, to have entered Turkey recently from Syria, but was not on the watch list of suspect militants, the Turkish government said, unconfirmed report. News of the bombing was met with over in Germany and Turkey Prime Minister Davutoglu called Angela Merkel, the German Chancellor, to offer his condolences. International tourism is once again showing its cruel and unhuman face today. Mrs. Merkel, today it hits Istanbul, yesterday it was Paris, Tunisia, and had already hit Ankara. Germany has also warned its citizens after the attack to avoid tourist sites in the city. Question were as to whether the group was deliberately targeted for the country's liberal policy on accepting Syrian refugees. Istanbul is one of the world's most visited cities and tourism accounts for around 12% of Turkey GDP. And to end up this edition, President Barack Obama delivered his final State of the Union address at the U.S. Capitol uh, as the President offered a series of uh, policy proposals. He focused on the longer-term vision of America. The speech was a bit of a vintage Obama moment where the President encouraged Americans and Congress to embrace change and to move past to, to get things accomplished. More detail with Sayyid Mohammed. The U.S. President Barack Obama has defended his record on climate change, the economy, and healthcare, 
and made an appeal for more consensus politics in the future. In his final State of Union address, he didn't focus on gun control as was widely expected, but the threat of extremism and the fight against terrorism did feature. Priority number one is protecting the American people and going after terrorist network. Both Al-Qaeda and now Islamic State pose a, a direct threat to our people because in today's world, even a handful of terrorists who place no value on human life, including their own, can do a lot of damage. They use the internet to poison the mind of individuals inside our country. They undermine and destabilize our ally. Obama also took a swipe at Republican presidential candidate Donald Trump condemning anti-Muslim rhetoric. But this was one of Obama's few remaining chance to talk to millions of Americans before November's election and supporters describe it as vintage Obama. This was the English News. Thank you for your attention and uh, do stay with us.